Hey everybody, welcome back to Happiness 101. I'm Josh, and today we're going to start to talk about emotions. As you can imagine, that's a pretty big topic to try and cover in one video. So I'm actually going to break it down to a few videos, and today we're going to be talking about one concept that's related to emotions, and that's called catharsis. Catharsis is actively expressing an emotion that was either repressed or wasn't entirely expressed at the time it was felt. It's more commonly referred to as venting, and it can occur whether we're uh, talking about our stressful day to a friend, or whether we're doing it in more of a professional setting with a therapist. Talk therapy, or the therapy we generally think of when we think of psychotherapy, is well documented and has helped millions of people worldwide. Whether it's the fact that we're forced to organize our thoughts and feelings when we describe them to someone else, or it's the companionship we feel when we're able to open up to another person, or just the relief we feel when we're able to let our guard down and actually be totally honest, catharsis, for the most part, works. However, research is beginning to show that catharsis may not be effective for every emotion. It seems that when we choose to embody and express anger or angry feelings, that this can actually have negative results. In one study, Men that had the highest blood pressure were the ones that had the most explosive voices and who showed the most outwardly directed anger. Another study showed that when we express friendliness in response to an offense, it can actually help lower our blood pressure in that moment. We're now beginning to see that catharsis is not only not a healthy way to deal with anger, but that actively expressing anger can set unhealthy precedents for the future and cause us to jump to anger or the expression of angry feelings more easily than we would before, and this sets unhealthy habits for us that can actually stick with us. Though anger can be one of the hardest emotions to control, it seems that our bodies almost reward us when we're able to overcome it and not be consumed in the heat of the moment. While feelings of sadness or anxiety can stick with us and really eat us up, it seems that anger dissipates and fades away. The more we resist anger and the more we fight trying to embody it, the less of it we experience in the future. But if you want to learn more about emotions or anything we talked about here today, tune into the next Happiness 101 or find a Happicus class. Keep happy, everyone.